A glorious day here in Rome where history is being made today. You see the Vatican right there, St. Peter's Basilica. We are seeing the final hours of a living Pope, Benedict XVI, preparing now to leave the Vatican for the last time as Pope, the first Pope in almost 600 years to relinquish power and retire. There he is leaving the Vatican right now, accompanied by Secretary of State Cardinal Bertone, and he will walk out into the courtyard of San Damaso where Swiss guards and the entire papal household is already arrayed to say farewell to their pope. Pope moving slowly now, eight years as pope. Said he was retiring in part because he was no longer up to the physical intellectual and emotional demands of the job. And this farewell has been remarkably personal. The Pope yesterday in his general audience speaking about both the joys and the burdens of that office. Earlier today, he said farewell one by one to the Cardinals, 207 Cardinals in all, not all were there today. Now he is walking out into that courtyard for the last time, the final picture. That is the Secretary of State, Cardinal Bertone, who is right now walking right ahead of the Pope. The Swiss Guards, the oldest standing army in the world, protecting Popes for 500 years. And the Pope now greeted by applause from members of his household. I'm joined here by Donald Cardinal Whirl of Washington, D.C., who was in that audience with the Pope earlier today. You had the chance to say your own personal goodbye to the Pope. I did. I had the opportunity, along with all the other Cardinals, one by one, to go up and greet him and really just express great affection for him. And it was a very hard thing to say goodbye. And the first thing that he said to me was, ah, Washington. I remember my visit, because it was almost five years ago. So personal, but the Pope also so conscious of the precedence he is setting, the history he is making right now. I was struck in those remarks to all of you where he pledged that reverence and obedience to the successor Pope. Every, every bishop pledges that when he's named a bishop, that he will be obedient to the Holy Father. And the Holy Father is setting the example now. He is no longer going to be Pope, and he is pledging his loyalty to the new Pope. I thought it was a beautiful and touching. It was beautiful, and Koki Roberts also here, longtime Vatican watcher as well. Everything here, brand new. No one living has ever seen anything like this before. Well, to say the words brand new and Vatican in the same breath are really quite remarkable in itself, uh, but that is the case. Uh, now, we've seen, of course, the, the ceremony and the Swiss Guard and all of that before, but the idea of a retiring pope is, is totally uh, unprecedented in, in hundreds of years, as you've said. And that's why, even though, as Cardinal Wuerl has said, these are words that every bishop says, it's very important important for him to say them now. Essential for him to say it. He's getting in that car right now. He'll be driven to a helipad on the Vatican grounds and then take a short 15-minute helicopter ride to the Castel Gandolfo, uh, which is about the papal summer residence, the resort president, Gandolfo, excuse me, the, uh, the Pope uh, loves that place. I want to go to Ron Claiborne now, who is outside the courtyard of Castel Gandolfo right now. Ron, what is the scene there? Well, uh, George, about uh, two or three thousand people have been uh, taking part in a, a uh, silence of prayer, uh, preparing for the arrival of the Pope in about uh, 20, 30 minutes from now. These are many of these people are from local uh, communities around here, the villages, including the one that I'm in here, Castel uh, Gandolfo. It is here where history will be made in about half an hour, uh, two hours from now, George. The uh, Pope will be inside this. Uh, Palacio here, the Pontifical Palace behind me, at the hour of 8 o'clock local time, he will officially cease being the Pontiff. And at that moment, and what would expect to be a very dramatic development, the Swiss Guard, who is, of course, who are the, uh, the Pope's official guards, will leave the front door there, that uh, wooden door you see in front of the palace. And at that moment, 
Pope Benedict will become Pope Emeritus Benedict, no longer the leading uh, figure in the Catholic Church, George.